Four small farmers from Western North Carolina filmed their own seasons from July through November of 2011. This is their story. Sometimes I don't really know what compels me to farm, but it's just something that I do. My name is Megan Cole, and this is my first year of, of running my own farm enterprise here in Old Fort, North Carolina. At this point in the season, in terms of economics, I am falling way short. I set the bar pretty high for myself and was hoping that I'd be able to break even. Small farms are really important for producing foods for local communities for a variety of reasons. I was in a grocery store recently. I was there because of convenience, admittedly, but I was pretty appalled to see all this California produce. I'm a farmer in North Carolina, and all the produce in local stores is from California. It can be difficult to work as hard as I do knowing that I'm not actually able to make a livelihood of it. And that's been a real huge challenge and something that I have a lot of emotion about. And that's partly why small farmers are, are not wanting to farm anymore is because it's a lot of work and um, sometimes it doesn't necessarily feel worth it if you're not actually able to make a living. <laughs> My parents raised me to have a really strong work ethic. I've really been pushing on this edge and finding out really how tough I am. Start small. <laughs> Start small because you're going to make mistakes and it's going to cost you money and you're going to have to backtrack or change direction. I'm Nick Nichols of Highlander Farm. Uh, my wife Susan and I have been involved in, in raising sheep for 37 years. It's harder to think about the future because you, you know that the time is against you now. Nick's been running all over this farm this morning trying to catch these sheep. We've just hired somebody to help us, which is <laughs> brand new for us, and um, hopefully that's going to take a little load off our back. You grabbed their leg, Robbie. Yeah, there you go, Robbie. There you go. You're, you're going to win the steel Why don't y'all start working with holding them up upright instead of carrying them like that, Nick? carry them all right like that? About well, 100 pounds? It's uh, gotten so hard for Nick to... Uh, do the heavy work and uh, it's awful hard for him to uh, accept it. When I was a, a little kid I raised rabbits uh, for, for meat and every Saturday I'd butcher rabbits and my dad would take them to a butcher shop to sell. We've always had livestock. I like reading about it. Uh, I go to as much educational uh, opportunities as I can. I deal with different breeders and trying to get different genetics into my flock to improve the, the lambs each year. You know, this, this lamb was born this morning. Latest addition to Highlander Farm. <laughs> you see a, 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 a new lamb laying there in the, on the, in the straw, that's the most exciting thing there is. The farmers and crew of the Farmers Film thank Carolina Farm Credit for their support in helping us take this local story to a national audience. We also thank our Asheville area sponsors who gave us our start.